hello guys welcome back to revit 2016 video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through railings so let me just open the file So if you see it over here, I have a railing created already. <coughs> so what I will do is, I will just uh, minimize this window tab. Then, and this is the sixth floor level. So I will select sixth floor level, and I will have another tab open for me. and over here I'll just so there is a railing on this side so if you see over here see I have selected it okay so we are gonna create a railing on the other side and I'm gonna show you how to do it first you will go to architecture select railing and oops okay select railing over here you can edit your railing type you can say duplicate and let's give a railing name as rail select okay now we'll come to this properties later first you select okay okay and we'll just have our railing done on this side Oops. So the center point and the end point <coughs> and that's where the that's where the arc begins and here where the arc finishes then you have your line type segment then you using line type you create lines <coughs> once again uh, going to arc type selecting the center point I'm sorry then the end point and from there the arc begins so once you are, you have created uh, the line in this form for the railing path or the path for the railing you can just uh, select right now let us view it on this side Oh, there it goes. There you have your railing. <coughs> so the thing about railings is, these are like for supports when you stand over the on this side of the building to have a view outside of the building, and it also uh, helps the person from not falling down, which we don't want then now if you select the railing you have you see uh, these are balusters the vertical ones are called balusters so you can go to edit type and you can say baluster placement and select edit that you have a post square w ball 4 1 by 4 inches you can change this let's say 6 1 by 4 inches and select apply you see the size has changed you can view it in your way now select ok now coming to the rail structure these are the rails uh, the, the horizontal ones I mean these rails can be edited and you can have of any type you want so select rail structure edit you have uh, four rails 
the top one will be like uh, the common one the these four are the ones that are over here starting from the bottom one feet two feet three feet and four feet okay uh, there is no offset and the profile is elliptical rail so uh, the rails are elliptic, uh, elliptical in shape you can just uh, change your shape to whatever you want uh, I'm gonna show you where we are gonna have these different types of shapes let us say circular 1 by 8 inch over here circular 1 by 8 inch over here circular 1 by 8 inch and over here circular 1 by 8 inch then coming to the material type so these four railings are of different materials I mean I have created them to be different materials I have created a profile before doing this railing we can have like different types of materials so if you uh, select that button over there you get here different types of materials so what do we have let's say we have glass and you can change the transparency you can change your properties to whatever you like your appearance you can say the reflectance to be more uh, the sheet of glass to be like one and uh, the graphics you can change everything and select apply then select ok so that changes to glass and coming to the let, let this be glass clear glazing let's come to steel carbon let us select uh, steel chrome plated over here let's select transparency and the color will be like something let's say red appearance chrome polished relief pattern tint cutouts select apply and select ok let it that be same and you can select apply select ok select apply and select ok so if you view that uh, that's the one in the changes that we have made you can just uh, go to edit type back again you can just uh, make this like one inch circular let us see how that changes select ok so have you see you see you have seen the difference the, so this has changed ok now once again going to edit type and let's uh, let me show you how to have these different types of profiles and materials so the thing is the thing is you go to insert there you select load family and when you come over here you make sure you have US Imperial or your metric whichever units you are using since I'm using feet and inches I need it in Imperial so first I will go to the profile I have profiles over here On, in profiles I will select uh, railings and these are the ones that uh, we have like type decorator let's select open then this that profile will be added to your uh, railing I mean in the you can edit that to decorate rail type I will show you let us add something else go to uh, imperial and select railings and over here you add balusters so these are some different balusters panel glass select open uh, let's have some other balusters supports
so this is custom 3 let's say this open this okay so now we'll just uh, what we'll do is we'll where's our railing shit what happened okay there it is you got nothing to worry about so now uh, we we'll select our railing we go to insert we select load family make sure you have uh, the profiles added because since I have selected control Z that might have removed the profiles I'll have decorate rail open again once again I'll go to insert I'll select open family I'll go to railings I'll select custom th 4 type balusters I'll select open now I'll select my railing type and over here I'll select edit rail structure so these are like uh, the different height you can have the rail set I'll just uh, select I'll say decorate rail decorate rail decorate rail decorate rail select apply select ok and then going to bolster placement let us say this as where's the custom bolster custom for is to one and this is the distance like uh, let me show you so you have one bolster over here and one bolster over here so the distance between them is 5 feet and that is the 5 feet you can just let's say we make it 7 feet and select apply select apply once again select ok then select apply and select ok so now if you view there so that is a, a 7 feet distance ok and we had a different type of profile decorate rail type hope you have understood everything I have said over here uh, I mean coming from the edit type like editing the rail structures baluster placements everything so that pretty much makes everything I mean in this way you can uh, have a rail for your building modeling on the outside on the outside of the structure for example like this cantilever beam probably or whatever the rail for the support for the person to have outside view so in this way you can uh, have rails created in your modeling thank you for watching this video